warm namaskar to all of you. It gives me immense pleasure as I welcome you all to the second global thematic webinar organized by the Culture Working Group under India's G20 Presidency in collaboration with UNESCO, our knowledge partner. This is the second in a series of four webinars organized to foster an inclusive dialogue and facilitate an in-depth discussion from an expert-driven perspective on the four priorities areas articulated by the Culture Working Group, namely protection and restitution of cultural property, harnessing living heritage for a sustainable future, promotion of cultural and creative industries and creative economy, and leveraging digital technologies for protection and promotion of culture. This is the, uh, fine? Okay, sorry. The objective is to inform the discussions of the culture working group through these webinars and help shape action-oriented outcomes across all the four priority areas, building on the expertise and best practices across the G20 membership. Today, we have gathered to deliberate and expand the conversation around a topic that is extremely significant and has important implications for us and the future generations, harnessing living heritage for a sustainable future. Living heritage is an embodiment of social practices, traditions, and knowledge passed down through generations that reflect a com community's history, its identity, and its values. It serves as a social capital for communities, providing a sense of shared identity, fostering social cohesion, and promoting cultural continuity across generations. Many of these practices prioritize the use and reuse of natural resources, contributing to waste reduction and maintenance of a balance between social, economic, and environmental factors contributing to sustainability. Living heritage has sustained individuals, communities, and societies for generations. In India, with a culturally diverse population with over 2,000 ethnic groups, more than 1,600 languages, about 4,000 festivals, and a beautiful landscape stretching from the deserts to the Alpines, the safeguarding of living heritage has consistently been an area of focus for public policies at both the national and local levels. With its rich cultural diversity, India is well positioned to inform, support, and renew the global reflection on sustainability issues. Many of India's traditional practices can be useful to set a roadmap towards sustainability at the global level. India's outlook towards living heritage has largely evolved from its ethos of life, ecology, and reverence to nature. According to the Indian way of life, the whole universe, be it living or non-living, is composed of five basic elements, or as we call it in our language, the panch tattvas, the earth, fire, water, space, and wind. Earth is worshipped in its various manifestations like plants and trees, rivers and seas, hills and mountains, and so on and so forth. The cultural ethos of India is based on mutual coexistence, peace, and interdependence, rather than the anthropocentric worldviews. Therefore, man is no longer the center of the universe, but a part of it. All other organisms also have a right to live, reinforcing the philosophy of Vasudev Kutumbukam, or one earth, one family, one future. Living heritage bridges nature, nature and cultural traditions and practices to provide a sustainable and balanced solution to contemporary global challenges. The safeguarding of intangible heritage is critical to ensure sustainable living and achieve sustainable development across a broad range of sustainable development goals from health and social inclusion to climate action and economic growth. These practices and knowledge systems, transmitted across generations, influence many modern day practices and contemporary innovations with space to accommodate all segments of the population. 
Local and indigenous communities play an important role in the production, safeguarding, maintenance, and intergenerational transmission of cultural heritage, thus helping enrich cultural diversity and human creativity. Living heritage also contains locally rooted knowledge and practices that provide a source of resilience against changing climate conditions and helps protect biodiversity. The significance of intangible cultural practices for environmental sustainability in the fields of biodiversity conservation, natural and water resource management, disaster risk reduction, natural disaster preparedness and response mechanisms is widely acknowledged. Mission Life, predicated on climate-friendly cultural norms, beliefs, and daily household practices of globally diverse cultures, was announced by Prime Minister Narendra Modi during the 26th UN Conference of the Parties, UNFCCC COP26, in 2021. Life envisions mindful and optimal utilization of natural resources and harmonious coexistence between humankind and nature. Based on the concepts such as circular economy, it emphasizes an environment-conscious lifestyle rooted in cultural ethos to address challenges such as environmental degradation and climate change. Mission Life by way of Culture for Life can be a valuable initiative for the G20 members to harness living heritage for achieving sustainable developmental goals. While the contribution of living heritage to a sustainable future is widely acknowledged, living heritage is also faced with increased threats related notably to the impact of global challenges, including climate change, accelerated urbanization, and the digital transformation. Moreover, issues related to misappropriation and decontextualization of living heritage, whose values and practices rely primarily on peoples and communities, are also a growing area of concern, which our conversation should also be addressing today. Finally, the safeguarding of linguistic diversity, particularly indigenous languages, in the face of mounting threats should also receive a renewed attention. The global community must work together to promote and safeguard our traditional cultural practices and knowledge systems. It is important to recognize their value in creating a sustainable planet while ensuring that they are passed on to future generations so that they, so that they can continue to enrich our lives. The G20 has a critical role to play in this endeavor, and I'm confident that the discussion today will provide breadth and depth that will enrich the culture working group process leading to meaningful, tangible outcomes. I thank you all, ladies and gentlemen, for your participation today and hope you have an intellectually stimulating day. Thank you. Namaskar. Pasu